Hola, my name is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Viscosity and consistency are terms applied to fluids that represent the resistance they offer to flow or deformation when subjected to a shear stress. The viscosity of a fluid, according to Newton, is the resistance offered by the fluid to movement between two parallel plates separated by a unit distance one of them fixed and the other mobile that moves with the unit of speed. This resistance is expressed as the quotient between the shear stress per unit area F per A and the shear velocity per unit thickness of the fluid layer V per E. Newtonian fluids are characterized by the linear relationship between unit shear stress and unit shear velocity, that is, the graphical representation of F over A relative to V over E is a straight line. Other fluids have variable slopes and do not follow Newton's definition. These are known as the non-Newtonian fluids. Many plastics require the application of certain force to the movable plate before it moves. And once in motion, the apparent viscosity decreases with the increase in plate speed. Then, graphically, the slope goes down. Other materials that are coagulated at rest pass to the liquid state when stirred, and those are called toxitropic. The St. Bentant body represents substances that have virtually no slope, such as pulp. On the other hand, Hank and Postwill defined viscosity in more practical terms by expressing the relationship between the stresses and the shear speeds for a capillary tube, as you can see in the screen. There are different terms related to viscosity, and these are Dynamic or absolute viscosity It is defined by the hangen Possuil formula, whose unit in the international system is the pascal per second, or the millipascal per second. The unit has replaced the poise and centipoise in the CGS system. Kinematic viscosity It is the quotient between the dynamic viscosity and the density of the fluid. Its unit in the international system is the square meter per second, and in the CGS, the square centimeter per second called a stoke, and for smaller values, the centistoke is used. If the viscosity is expressed as a function of the time that a given volume of fluid takes to pass through an orifice or a capillary tube, these units are used. There is a relationship between the kinematic viscosity V and the units given by this formula. Consistency is the degree of deformation that fluids represent when subjected to a shear stress. The term essentially represents the viscosity of suspensions of insoluble particles in a liquid and is a characteristic of fluidity of this. The term consistency is applied in the industry in the manufacture of paints, paper, food product packaging, etc. Consistency units are totally different from viscosity units and are expressed in arbitrary units. For example, in the paper industry, consistency designates the ratio between the weight of dry matter or dry pulp fiber and the total total weight of the solids plus the water that carries them. Consistency can be detected, according to the definition given, by pressing on the paper pole with a specially designed blade to eliminate friction and impact force. And well, this will be all for today's video. Don't forget to give me a like, subscribe and share. I upload videos every Wednesday in Spanish and every Friday in English. Adios!